Hi, this is our daily update. Thanks for checking it out. Last weekend, one of the things we talked about in our series, He's Not Finished Yet, is how Jesus isn't finishing, finished re-envisioning us. And I was thinking about the season that we're in and how as we are separated from, I don't know, our normal routine and from each other, that it's easy to start wondering if you really matter, if I really matter. And one of the things that Jesus is not finished doing is telling us, you know what? You matter. You're significant. You know, God is planning to be present in the world through you, through me, because the message that God has, it comes and it gets to other people through what we call person-to-person -person contact. It, it's, we looked at last week a passage where Jesus in the book of Matthew, it's the last thing that he says to his um, followers, to his disciples. And he says, all authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, dunking them, immersing them into the reality of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to do all that I've commanded you. And I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus says, listen, you guys are gonna go and it's this message, the message, the redemption of people's lives and stories and families is going to come through you as you help them become followers of Jesus. The thing is, even on your worst day, God says, I have something to do in this world and I want to do it with you. Jesus died to bring us back to God, but not just to, you know, let us just be with God, although that's amazing but also to actually use us for the purpose for which you were created, which you were uniquely formed. So let there be no mistake. Let there be no disclarity. You need to hear this. God is saying to me and to you, hey, you matter. You matter. You matter. So stay encouraged, stay connected, and keep praying, keep seeking God, because he wants to use you and he's going to use you.